All right, y'all, welcome to day three of pre-fishing. Trip number two up here. Um, basically, we're just running some more new water, checking some old spots out to see if there's fish on them. Um, as you guys are gonna see here in a minute, we did hit one of our good spots from last year. It had fish on it, so we hooked in one keeper. And uh, let's go find some different stuff. So the last two pre-fishing days that you guys already saw, we uh, found one good spot and came to our, got to looking more on a map and actually found another wing dam on the same stretch, only probably 150, 200 yards up. So we're trying it out, see if there's fish here and yeah, go from there. So see if we can find some big ones. Up. Maybe that's what I'm seeing then. Yeah, we both up damn well we caught both of them. <laughs> I didn't even think I like actually hooked it. Take the bait. I think he had it the whole time. The keeper? Yeah. He looked bad. Yeah. The eyes all messed up. Skinny, but it's a keeper. <laughs> he would if we didn't have five in the boat. <laughs> there is that. He. Yes. Maybe that'll, you know, be a chance that they can't get hooked. Well, and they might take the plastic, but. Oh, it came off. 
I guess if you hook one, you hook one then. Oh yeah, I just got crushed again. Drop it. Drop it. Yes. Drop it, dude. This fish will not drop this. What do I do? I can't. I have. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm giving you all the answers I know. I don't think I don't think he's gonna let it go. Should I just set the hook? I can't get him to drop it. Alright guys, well, as you just saw, as long as I don't lose the clip somehow, or skip by it, we just went down to that spot we found last weekend, and within about the first 10 casts of both of us combined, we ended up with four bites right away. So we, had, we didn't hook any, we we're just going to kind of hope that the size is still there. They definitely felt like bigger bites again. I actually had one that swam around for two minutes with it in his mouth pretty much. So, fingers crossed they stay there, hopefully. But now we're coming up to our second spot. There's actually a boat that sat on this and fished quite a bit of it when we were hitting some of our other spots. But we only fished one part of this little island, so we're gonna fish the whole thing and see if they are sitting on the bottom or if they're all the way up it or what's going on. So hopefully there's some more here. Hammered what? Uh, same one, sprayed lettuce stuff. It freaking hammered it. It was like bam, bam, and then it dropped it. That one didn't even bite. I just saw my line take off. Kind of bit, but not really. And again, he's not very big. Can you do me a favor? Can you see if we can get this to pop out of his jaw? The way it's in it, it like won't pop. Sorry. Seriously? It wasn't it? Carolina rig. Chill. He's not a giant, but definitely a keeper. He was way out on that point. And he absolutely annihilated it. This is gonna have to get retied. All right, guys. Day number four pre-fishing last and final day and we're gonna run some new water again um, after yesterday we solidified we got about four spots right now that are holding some fish uh, a couple of them we believe have some good fish on them it's just gonna be whether or not we can get them to bite 
constant change in conditions. Um, supposed to be cool again today, kind of. Um, overcast, which I'd rather have overcast than bluebirds. And then on Sunday, they're calling for some rain. So it's going to be something different every day. We just got to put our heads down and see what we can figure out. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to hit a couple more spots today that we've done well in the past, if we can get into some of them. And then run some new water and see if we can find some more stuff. So see if we can catch some, some fish. Yes. Do what? I thought about it. Feels a lot better down there. This pocket is just deep. No, we're fishing down. Yeah, I want my Texas rig. <laughs> I'd wait and see how deep it is. Like, you know what I mean? See if it's... Well, and behind. Behind some I don't know. That's not where I wanted to be. Whatsoever. Tell me when you can feel the dam. Quit. I can't quite I don't think you're quite there yet, but. I know this is a big wall I didn't look to. Hang on.
right on that point, hammered it, and just took off. That is a really good fish. That's a nice fish. That's two and three quarter. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> All right, so do we not fish this point anymore? Do I see if I can get bit again? Just not set hook? That's what I would probably do. I just wanted to know if it was a bass or not. No, I, we have to. Right. I mean, we're, we're fishing new stuff. we got to check it. No. Well, one, two. Good one too. He's over two and a half. Definitely fish on this same flat. No. I understand that, but I'm only in 3 6 right now. Not according to mine, you're not. It's been accurate on this one so far, but that doesn't mean the bend's right. You getting shallower or deeper? Bait in this second. Like, it literally, you can see the line where it starts and just goes out. That's my second bite back to back. That's where the dam's at. There's fish all over. That was not the intent. It's a stud. Can we get a picture? Yeah. And he ran at the boat pretty much the whole way, so I didn't even think he was that big. 
can tell you that now. So I can tell you it ain't that boat. <clears throat> Mouth too, I think. No. no. Oh, you got bit? I mean, we know where largemouth are now. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna sum this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I tried doing a little bit more talking, that way we could explain some things that we were doing and what we were fishing and how we were fishing it and things like that. But um, we uh, came up, like you guys saw, um, last weekend, did some pre-fishing, found some fish. Uh, went down and checked them yesterday. They were still there. Thank goodness, cross our fingers, they stay there this weekend. Um, one of them spots is probably going to be our starting spot just because of the, the quantity of fish that were there with some okay quality. I mean, nothing crazy, but but plenty enough fish. Um, then we got plenty of other spots. Um, today, like you guys just saw, I think we stopped at like six or seven different spots and most of them had fish. So that's good for our two-day tournament in theory in our heads. Um, you have a few more spots that way you have a few more places to go whether you know one bite's not going on one one spot and just a lot of different reasons on why we why we did that but um, cross your fingers for us hope we can get on these fish this for this tournament and hopefully do well we are sitting in fourth and points right now and actually the guy that's in third place is staying with us and he's two points ahead of us um, so it's gonna be a shootout here these next this tournament and then the classics our last ones for for points in this club so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down drop some comments down below so we can interact with you guys and yeah we'll catch you guys in the next episode